So, Jenny, what day of the cleanse are you on? I'm on day 15. Day 15 of yes. the Master Cleanse. Feeling good. And how are your energy levels today? Uh, very good. I have loads of energy. M more than I've ever had before, really. Yes. Mm. And for those people who are uh, considering trying it out, um, or maybe they're on the first couple days of the cleanse, uh, can you describe what your energy levels were like during days one through three, maybe? Days one through three were hard for me. Um, day one really was a day of, of detoxing from caffeine. It really made me realize, um, you know, that's, that's not really... The amount that I was having was not a good amount because I really had a hard time. I had headaches. Um, I meditate a lot, so I could use that but it was still a struggle. Um, what were the physical symptoms? Um, just headachey and feeling very tired. And so I really did just, I think it's important on the first day, maybe for me it was, it was important. I, I didn't have anything on the schedule. So I could rest, I could take care of myself. Um, uh, and I'd say maybe, you know, on the first three days I, I had that, I knew I needed that time. But it, I, w I was, I just rested um, and, you know, yeah, had, had the lemonades. <laughs> yes. okay. okay. A lot of them. What, what uh, looking back, what helped you when, you when you were feeling the periods of low energy or lethargy? What, what would you recommend to yourself next time you do it? Um, I think more lemonades. I think, you know, it's that patterning and especially with women, right? We don't want to be full all the time. For me, it was, you know, a, again, a sign that, you know, even though I'm doing a cleanse, still in my mind is, oh, I don't want to eat, you know, too, too much, even though I'm doing something that's healing me and nothing that's hurting me. So for me, it's an, uh, it was a, patterning me out of being being full with the the lemonade was essential um, because any time I had a larger gap and began to get hungry I mean you really feel it um, and so I think if I did it again I would be really consistent and especially in the first three days especially in the first three days really be consistent and if for some reason you can't be and you start to be hungry, have two lemonades. Yes, have another lemonade. Ha have another That's lemonade. Always the, <laughs> always the right thing. <laughs> yes, yes. And so was there a point in your experience that these uh, symptoms cleared and that... Yes. In, in fact, day one was difficult. Day two was, was really good. Day three... Uh, I was very tired, but again, I think it was the not having enough of the lemonades. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't n remember if there was a reason at that time, but by day four, I felt really good. And from there on, it just got better and better. And I, I just returned from a five-day yoga festival. I arrived on day 10 with loads of energy, did six to eight hours of yoga a day, and... Yes. Loved it. <laughs> could, could you please, could you please uh, repeat that part in, yes. in a different <laughs> phrase? Because I heard you just say you did hours and hours of yoga every day while on the cleanse. Yes. Day, and you began on day 10. Yes. Correct? Yes. Can I, you describe the type of Because that's quite a feat yes. uh, while you're on the cleanse. Yes. And, and my, my yoga specifically is kundalini yoga. And um, they're kriyas or exercise sets. So you're doing, you know, repetitions of movements. Um, it's very, very physical um, as well as mental of sitting. Um, but yeah, and then, and, and then as well having energy at nighttime for the concerts to dance for another two hours. There is no problem with energy levels. In, in fact, I feel the best that I've ever felt in my life. And I have plenty of energy. I have more energy than I've ever had. It feels amazing. <laughs> Wow, that, yes. that is a very good feeling. An incredible benefit of the cleanse. Yes, uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, how, how did you feel, um, I'm trying to think, when you were doing the yoga, um, mm. if, 
how did you feel exceptional? Because you, of course, you do yoga all the time, and yes. so you uh, you know what it's like to do with a full stomach and, and while your body is digesting things. How is that different from how you felt this time? No, this time it was like a totally different experience, especially with the yoga and you know bending and moving. Um, you know, you're just you're clear, um, and I, I don't know to a certain extent. Food is out of your mind as well because it's not sitting in your stomach. So it's out of your mind and it begins to be something you don't even think about anymore. And if you're having the lemonades consistently, there's not even hunger that arises. Um, and um, again, you know, I was camping as well and was able to manage it still very easily. It was actually easier than any time I've ever camped because all I had to do was pack the three ingredients. Um, and so that, that, you know, that can be achieved as well because I know on one of your other videos you mentioned going out into nature and camping and I definitely 100% say yeah, that was, that, that was another good part of it, just being out in nature and being active. Um, so I timed it that way on purpose. Um, I, I knew that's how I wanted it to be. So uh, the people, your friends, who known you from past years <laughs> and things, uh, did they perhaps notice anything different about you? Yes, or? every single one of them said these exact words, wow, you just look clear. <laughs> that's what, that, that was the word they used. They said, you just look clear, and they did that movement, <laughs> you know, over their face. Um, and, and, uh, you know, I, I feel it. I feel like my eyes are shinier. I feel like for me, it was, a, a, I was doing the cleanse for a spiritual reason as well, just to clear, you know, my energy uh, to open it up, to allow other things to come in. Um, and that has worked for me as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, it was, everybody was just like, whoa, what's going on with you? <laughs> What is going on? I'm like, let me tell you. <laughs> and then they were completely mind blown that I could do that much activity in the day with drinking only the lemonades. Yeah. Very powerful testimonial, right? Yeah. There. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. It's, I, I think so, I'll do it, um, you know, at least once a year, if not, you know, twice a year, just to really let my body heal. I can feel my body healing as well. I, I can feel, you know, things changing and just feeling better everywhere, everywhere. Mm -hmm. mm. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> um, so then for someone that is contemplating doing it, uh, beginning it, yes. um, but might have reservations or might have, uh, you know, a bit wet, be a bit uh, hesitant to do yeah. it. Uh, what would be some things, because you're still on the cleanse. Yes, you're, you're still I plan on, so you're on still going in the at least till day so, 20 if not longer. Yes, yeah. well, there we go. And so what what would you, maybe uh, some tips or advice that you would give to someone that is contemplating doing it but is not sure yes. if they need it? Um, first of all, I say they need you as a guide. <laughs> they need to watch your videos because I did try it on my own the first time and it's like night and day. Um, one of the things that w you must do and I did was be very intentional and I did set that intention that I was not going to quit um, you know when we quit things it's because we doubt ourselves and doubt is is no good you got to get rid of the doubt you, you absolutely can do this I'm here telling you how amazing it is so you can block yourself if you want but another way is to really just set your intention set it every day every day of this cleanse wake up in the morning meditate and set that intention i'm going to have a great day on this cleanse i'm going to um, be thankful for the benefits it's bringing to me and just really stay focused on on the on the the target you know because you i'm telling you by four day day four or five even you know you really start to feel the benefits of it and then from there you're just like you know, I'm in it now. Now I feel like I, you know, um, I could go, I don't know, infinitely. I don't even know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. We'll see.
Um, very good. And then, so what would be maybe um, a tip or something when someone's having a very hard time on it? Because those, those come sometimes to people. So what have you used uh, or, or is there any technique or exercise in particular that was helpful for you? Breathing. Definitely always breathing. Breathing is always, I mean, in any case of your life, always breathing. But definitely um, breathing and having the more of the juice. <laughs> Have another lemonade. But also, um, also, I will say, you know, it's very difficult, I understand, especially if you're a mother and you have kids and you have all the food around that the kids eat. It is a little bit difficult in the beginning on that behalf. But get, you know, try to get everybody on board with you. Um, get a, a friend that you can call, in my case it was you, you know, and say, this is what I'm feeling, can you help me, uh, you know, or can I just talk about it or, you know, whatever. Because you are releasing patterns. So don't try to do it just on your own you know, set the intention, but also part of healing always is asking for help. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure this has been a wonderful help to someone. Yeah. I wish you the best of luck in your continued yes. cleansing. Thank you for the gift. <laughs>